This past weekend, I rode the Deer Creek Canyon trail system for the very first time. Deer Creek consists of a series of trails that you can mix and match to either ride an out and back with two additional small loops or a full big loop, depending on which trails are open. Since part of the trail system was closed, we ended up climbing up Plymouth Creek Trail, then doing the first small loop, which is Plymouth Mountain Trail, and adding the second small loop, which was Red Mesa Loop, and finally descending back down Plymouth Creek Trail. Plymouth Creek Trail is particularly famous in this area for a steep, rocky section called The Wall. This part of the trail is nearly impossible to climb because it's so chunky and the fact that there was a lot of dust on the rocks made it even more slippery and challenging. I ended up having to push my bike up for most of that section. This is nice. The rest of the climb on Plymouth Creek Trail, which by the way is a black diamond trail, has some chunky and steep sections to it, but most of it I was able to clean. Ooh. Oh, it's a really punchy climb, but beautiful views. The first loop we added to the climb was Plymouth Mountain Trail, a blue square trail that is bi-directional with breathtaking views over the plains towards the east and even a view of the Denver skyline. While most people rode or hiked this yeah. loop in the clockwise direction, we rode it in the opposite direction and had a great time. And while parts of the trail were very dry and kind of reminded me of a Mediterranean Italy, other parts were extremely lush and green, and you could tell that there were a lot of water sources nearby. It's really a variable trail. Like, now there's green again. This mix of vegetation made for a really interesting and beautiful ride. After finishing the Plymouth Mountain Trail loop, there's a short climb back up Plymouth Creek Trail where you can access the other loop, which is Red Mesa Loop. This loop is also considered to be a blue square trail, and like Plymouth Mountain Trail, the terrain was quite variable and the vegetation changed depending on where you were on the trail. This is nice. Again, we rode this loop in the counterclockwise direction, which I really enjoyed because of the fun flowy downhill section just before you merge back onto Plymouth Creek Trail. Finally, once you're back on Plymouth Creek Trail, it's all downhill from there. As I mentioned earlier, the trickiest section, but probably also the most fun to session on the downhill, is the wall. I wasn't feeling super strong that day on the descent, so I decided to just watch my buddies ride it and save the sessioning for another time. Nice. Ah, that was awesome. Super clean. All in all, I can definitely recommend the Deer Creek Trail System because it's beautiful, has great views, and plenty of technical sections to challenge yourself on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.